Uh, next, I'm pleased to welcome to the stage uh, the ROK Consul General here, uh, Mr. Kim Song Hyo, who is uh, good enough to meet with the board today, which is um, obviously a very important relationship. So, Mr. Kim. Mm. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Song Hyo Kim, Consul General of the Republic of Korea. I'm delighted to be here today to join our network evening hosted by Australian Korean Foundation. I also appreciate it, all organizations collaborating in this event. Thank you to the Australian Korea Business Council, Australia Korea Young Business Professional Association, and us, Santa Melbourne. It is my great pleasure that I'm able to shine the light on the relationship between Australia and Korea, and in particular, focus on the relationship between the state of Victoria and Korea as Consul General based in Melbourne. Since the establishment of the AKF in 1992, the organization has played a major role in promoting bilateral relations between Korea and Australia, especially since the Korea-Australia Free Trade Agreement, HAPFTA, took effect in 2014. The two nations' two-way trade has matured and diversified with both nations trading up to 35 billion Australian dollars. From a state perspective, Victoria and Korea's relationship is an also important one, given that Korea is Victoria's F large trading partner. However, considering Korea is Australia's third largest export market and fourth large two-way trading partner, Victoria still has room for improvement. In order to achieve this goal, I would like to mention that Victorian government opened this business office in Seoul in 2014, and the Korean Trade Promotion Agency Korea, based in Melbourne since 1996, has been actively playing its role. Also, it is well known that Victoria is a state of education the Korean consulate has been actively promoting the benefits of obtaining the Hammer Scholarship, especially its ability to strengthen cultural awareness and bilateral partnership with Korea. Another program initiated by the Korean Minister of Education, the Korean Victoria Teacher Exchange Program, is also one of us who are those efforts. When it comes to saying what Australian people mean to Koreans, it is needless to say that your citizens sacrifice during the Korean War is one of the first things that comes to mind. In memory of your veterans' noble sacrifice and your government's contribution, the Korean War Memorial will be standing in the coming month in Maribyrong City. Taking advantage of this opportunity, I would like to give my appreciation to the leaders from various Victorian communities and the Victorian state government. This cooperation and remembrance illustrate the bilateral growth achieved by both nations as a strategic alliance. While much has been achieved between Australia and Korea, the relationship between the two countries is still led to rich and full potential. I hope we will be able to further expand the important and relevant connection between Korea and Australia. Thank you for listening. Thank you.